with the state softball tournament. Pisca in the winner's bracket taking on Geneva. Now the Eagles, they led one to nothing in the second, and they would add to it thanks to this hit by Jaden Burgess. She'll pop it all the way into deep right field. Lily Walker will come in to score, extending Pisca's lead to two to one. But Geneva, they would come back with an answer. They've got Ansley Finch. She'll hit one right up the middle. Try and Pisca tries to throw out at first, but it's off the mark. That allows Megan Smith to come in home to make it two to one. But at the end of the day, Pisca, they would have a time in this one. They go on to win by a final of 12 to two in six innings. Move up to Class 6A now, Coach Rawls and the Buckhorn Lady Bucks taking on Spanish Fort in the winner's bracket. Bucks lead 2 to nothing, holding on to that lead with some great defense. In the fourth inning, a Toros hit to third, but next thing you know, here comes the 5-4-3 double play right there for Buckhorn. Let's fast forward now to the fifth inning. Toros with another opportunity. They hit it in the deep left field, but Paige Oshiro is there to make the amazing catch at the fence. Buckhorn wins again by final score today of 3 to nothing. How about Plainview? They were taking on Oakman. Bears got to win this one to stay alive. They got off to a fast start, already up 3-1, to one, but the Wildcats not backing down. Ayana Canada lays down a squeeze bunt, makes it the first, then she decides to go to second. The Bears hesitate, and she's thrown out, but a teammate would make it home to make it now 3-2. to two. Let's go to the fourth inning. It's still 3-2. to two. It's time for Oakman. Samantha Kelly gets a hold of this one and finds a sweet spot that goes over the breakaway fence right there. And the Lady Bears would end up falling to Oakland today by a final of 8-7 ending their softball season.